What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at this brand new 2021 Chevrolet Camaro SS. Huge shout out and thank you to Randy Marion Chevrolet for providing this new Camaro for today's video. Definitely check out the link to their website in the description below. They have a huge selection of the 2021 Camaros ready to go, so check them out. And the model that we're looking at today is a 2SS Coupe finished off in wild cherry tint coat and has an MSRP around $49,500. Underneath the hood, this utilizes a 6.2 liter naturally aspirated eight cylinder engine. It cranks out 455 horsepower and 455 pound feet of torque. The engine in this particular spec is mated to a 10 speed automatic transmission and sends the power to the rear wheels through a limited slip rear differential. And with a curb weight around 3,700 pounds, you're looking at zero to 60 time in under four seconds and a quarter mile time at 12.2 seconds with a top speed at 165 miles an hour. And running off a 19 gallon fuel tank, you're looking at 16 miles per gallon in the city and 26 out on the highway. The overall length is 188.3 inches with a wheelbase at 110.7. The width is 74.7 with a height of 53.1 inches. For 2021, the Chevrolet Camaro has a slightly refreshed front end design. You can see how all the bodywork is painted in the body colored red. It has the same massive opening for the grille in the lower portion with an extremely aggressive design for all of the mesh. And you can see the same mesh in the upper grille. We have a blacked out Chevrolet bow tie and your SS badge over on the right side. And you can see how the LED headlights are all integrated into the upper grille with an LED daytime running light. You can see the body color portion in the center with pieces that cut right into them on the side, which also house an LED light. It really adds to the aggression to the front end and you can see a lot of sharp body lines going around this lower grille, even with functional air inlets to allow air to enter the front bumper and pass through out around the front tires. This has an aggressive chin spoiler to really give it that aggressive design and all the sharp body lines flow to the hood very seamless. You can see a raised portion in the center of the hood with a functional heat extraction vent and it dips low on each side to really give it that wide appearance. And then as we make our way to the side profile, you can see the 20 inch wheels in all four corners. They're painted in the carbon flash metallic gray. They're a split five spoke design with a really aggressive design to them and they're wrapped in an Eagle F1 tire. You can see the Brembo brakes on the inside with four piston calipers up front and four piston calipers in the rear. These have a ton of performance and can stop the Camaro from 60 to zero in just 93 feet. You'll see the Camaro badge on the front fenders with the red, white, and blue colors. And there's also a sleek body line running through the side doors with body colored door handles and body colored mirror caps. There's also a very bold body line going above the rear wheels and another sharp body line going through the bottom portion of these doors. The Camaro has that fastback design really giving it that muscle car look, really sleek lines all around. And the proportions are fantastic to make this a great looking sports car. As we make our way to the rear end, this features a sunroof up top in the roof, and then the rear end slopes down to the trunk with a pedestal spoiler mounted right on top. And then as we make our way to the rear end of the Camaro, this has a set of LED tail lights finished off with clear housings, and they have a very three-dimensional look. I really like how they blend into the rear end and give it a much more modern design. We have the blacked out Chevrolet logo right in the center and the third brake light right above that. There's a sharp body line going through the center portion of this rear bumper, and you can see four parking sensors in the back with the standard backup camera, as well as your SS logo over on the left side. And then finishing it up, we have a blacked out rear diffuser and your dual quad tipped exhaust. So there's a good look at the exterior and some specs on the 2021 Chevrolet Camaro 2SS. Comment down below, what do you guys think of this particular spec? This red is beautiful. I love checking it out. So we now have the key fob. This vehicle does feature remote start. So if I go ahead and lock the car, and then double tap and hold down that button. The eight cylinder will roar to life. <laughs> Roars to life, as you can hear, that V8 definitely sounds pretty good. And then by just tapping the button, it'll automatically turn off. And then to unlock the vehicle, just grabbing the door handle and I can press the chrome button. It'll unlock and we can check out the interior. This interior is finished off in black leather and it has silver trim and gray accents. If we go ahead and take a look at the door panel, it's finished off in black. We have black leather up on top with some gray stitching and padding, and then your armrest right on the side with more contrast stitching. There is an ambient light strip along this aluminum colored trim piece, and we have more of the leather and stitching design, as well as your grab handle, your window controls with all of your mirror controls, your grab handles up on top with your lock and unlock, and then your memory seating. We have the trunk release button with a little bit of storage 
storage in the lower section, and then part of the Bose audio system. And then as you make your way to the interior, you can see Camaro on the door sill. It even has the red, white, and blue colors in the M. And then taking a look at the seats now, you can see the color contrast stitching along these bolsters. They have nice aggressive bolsters, really nice soft leather with perforated leather right in the center with a really cool design. And then taking a look at the backs, you can see more of the contrast stitching. We have the SS logo up on top with more of the perforated leather, and we get some gray leather running through the backs. And then now inside, keeping my foot on the brake, we can go ahead and fire it up. The Camaro SS has a really nice leather wrapped steering wheel with perforated leather on the sides and smooth leather on the top and bottom. It is a flat bottom design with your SS logo. On the left side we have your forward collision and cruise control settings as well as the heated steering wheel control. And then over on the right side we have Bluetooth and audio as well as controls for the center LCD screen. We also have favorites on the left and then your volume over on the right side. And we do have a set of steering wheel mounted paddle shifters that have a very nice design. If we take a look at the gauge cluster now we have a massive LCD screen screen right in the center. We have the tack over on the left and your speedometer on the right side. We have some vitals in the top portion and then the digital speedometer right in the center. If I scroll down using the buttons on the steering wheel, we can see a lot of other information like your trip information. We can continue down for your fuel range, oil life, and then many other settings within the vehicle, which is a really nice touch. And then on the back side of the steering wheel, we have your turn signal stock on the left and then your wiper blade controls over on the right. To the left side of the steering wheel, we have your heads up display as well as an info button and then you can change the dimness of the interior lighting. We also have one of the air vents and then a really nice bezel around the entire center gauges. And then moving our way to the dashboards, you can see how sleek it looks. We also get black leather and more color contrast stitching along it, giving it a nice clean appearance. And then right in the center, we have the LCD touchscreen infotainment system and there's a nice bezel around it with ambient lighting. So if we take a look at the actual screen now, we do have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and it's touchscreen with a lot of different information. If I tap the climate right here, a lot of information will come up on the screen and we have two different home buttons you can tap. Nice to have one on the touchscreen and a physical button. And then if we scroll back over here, we can see some settings that's in the screen. A lot of things you can configure. You can also tap your apps icon and control things like that. Going back to home right now, if I go ahead and put the vehicle into reverse, the backup camera pops up. You can see all the guidelines and everything like that. And then going ahead and putting it back into park. We have some physical buttons below this with the power button right in the center. And then all of your climate controls are right below that. We do have heated and ventilated seats with a nice little LCD screen right here for your temperature. You can see as it changes, really cool how you actually grab the entire bezel to change the temperature for the dual zone climate control. We have your fan speed and defrost right in the center with all of your different zones and air conditioning controls. It's really nice. You can actually grab the center and twist these to open and close the vent, which is a really cool design. We have the hazards right in the center and then more black leather and stitching along the insides. We have more of the silver trim and leather around the shift knob. And then behind that, we have your drive mode as well as the electronic park and brake and then your traction control. If I toggle this up and down, it changes the different drive modes right on the screen. We have a touring mode. We can go into a sport mode where the exhaust valve opens up. And then we also have the track mode and then a snow and ice mode. And then right in the center, we have a 12 volt as well as two cup holders and some ambient lighting. We have more black leather and stitching along the armrest. We can push the button and pull this up. We have a little bit of space in here, which is nice to see. And if we take a look at the glove box right now, we can grab the handle and open this up. We have a pretty good amount of space in here as you would expect. And then one last look at the interior. I like how sleek the Camaro is. We have a lot of aggressive lines to mimic the exterior. And then the black leather seats have a really nice touch with a little bit of gray accents and the SS logo. And then on the ceiling, we do have a sunroof, which is pretty rare to see in a car like this. We have the manual sunshade, and then all of your dome lights up top. And one thing very cool, we have the frameless mirror up top. And if we pull this down, it actually changes to the camera that's mounted in the shark fin antenna on the ceiling. And the Camaro also is a four-seater vehicle. If we grab the handle on the backside of this front seat, we can push it forward to allow some access to the rear end. You can see the same black leather and perforated leather in the center, and we even get some gray accents and contrast stitching, and there's a wireless phone charging mat right in the center. 
So it's now time to hop into the back seat of the 2021 Camaro. I have the driver's seat set at my height and I am five foot 11. This is a bit of a tight car to use it for a four seater. I am fitting back here, but my head is pretty crooked and my knees have to go around the seats. It is useful in a pinch, which is nice, but not to say you're gonna buy this for full grown adults, but children, there'd be a pretty good room back here. Onto the trunk space now, you can use the button on the key fob, the one on the interior door panel, or there is one right here in the bumper. It pops the trunk and we can take a look at all the interior space here. It's got a pretty decent size opening now and it's very boxy in here so you do have a lot of space for being the size of the car. You can just get a good look at everything. Not too bad for a smaller car like this. And with the back seats folded down, you can see how it opens up to the interior cargo space. And then if we make our way through the door right here, you can see how these seats fold down nearly flat. So it actually makes it pretty usable for a two-door coupe. All right, so we are setting off now in the 2021 Camaro 2SS. First and foremost, that exhaust, even in touring mode, has a nice sound to it, that eight cylinder engine. It's gonna sound good once you put it into the track mode. But getting my bearings in this car right now, it is extremely comfortable. We do have magnetic ride suspension, so it's in the softest setting right now. It's absorbing bumps really nicely, and the Camaro seems really comfortable and smooth to drive. You don't really hear any wind noise or road noise or things like that. The only thing you hear is the exhaust, but in the quiet mode right now, it's nothing crazy loud at all. The interior, I like the layout. It's very simple. You really don't have many buttons, and I love how you can control the climate using the actual dials right here. Just gives it a nice clean design. And then the steering wheel, I love how the leather feels, and the steering wheel itself is pretty small feeling, so it really just makes you kind of get wrapped around by the car and make it feel a little bit more nimble. Heads-up display is nice. As far as the visibility it is a low hunkered car we have very small glass you have like that much windshield however it's actually pretty decently easy to see out of i think the mirrors do a good job the rear view of course with the lcd screen like that having the actual camera i think that is a really cool touch it doesn't really take too much getting used to but i do like that and when you look over your right and left shoulder the c pillar is pretty big uh, it's not too bad over your left. You can see a little bit out that window, but with your mirrors adjusted properly, I really don't see any issues with that. So now we do have manual mode. We can put it into the manual mode right here and shift using the paddle shifters or the actual shifter on the center. And then as far as the drive modes right now, we can toggle down to the sport mode and we'll just go into the track mode. The exhaust is noticeably a little bit louder and we'll hear just a little bit. <laughs> girdles and pops on it already and that's not even 3000 rpm i love the heads-up display as well it shows you your gear and the speed and then a really large tack <laughs> that has a really good sound to it so we'll test out some of the performance and wow that steering wheel is crazy heavy actually i'll have to try that out back into the touring mode touching the gas getting up to 60 without even thinking the engine has so much girth to it such a good sound wow i do like how nimble a camaro feels while being a muscle car it doesn't feel like just a big old drag racing car feel like something you can take the turns with we got a nice sharp turn we'll downshift into third gear and feel out a 90 degree turn steering is nice and heavy car feels planted gets up to speed really quickly. This thing packs a nice punch. It feels really composed too. It just feels so solid. We got a nice bump kind of going over a hill and even some high speed just doing that a little bit. The Camaro is planted. That's crazy. And uh, my brother's actually filming a 1LE right now, which is even more performance oriented. So check that out in the description below. But the normal 2SS, fantastic car with all the luxuries, but you have performance for sure. The handling is definitely nice. We got another sharp turn. <laughs> down just a little bit even powering through a turn wow that is so stable i love this steering that's just crazy it's a muscle car and yet the steering is phenomenal so if i go ahead and put it back into tour mode we'll see if it lightens up the steering wheel wow now it's like a luxury car that is really impressive so i love with the steering and the suspension and then the exhaust valve it just totally makes the car two different cars it can be a comfortable luxurious two-door car but then you put it into the track mode the whole car tightens up i definitely like that aspect and then since we're toned back down we're pretty much done with the country roads we'll go back into automatic and everything i also like the creature comforts in the car and the way everything is used and the fit and finish i think it's got some nice quality in here all the plastics feel nice and solid nothing really feels cheap i think it's laid out super 
super clean. So then now that we're getting into some bumper to bumper traffic, as far as the fit and finish, like I was saying, I think everything you touch is a nice quality feeling material. Got the leather on the shifter and the armrest. Armrests themselves are in a really good place. And these seats are extremely comfortable. You have all the controls to them. Of course, the ventilated and heated seat aspect. I have the ventilated seat on right now because it actually got pretty toasty out there. But the bolsters fit you really well. They kind of hug your legs and your back. So I think I'm extremely comfortable. And I can put this far back. I'm five foot 11, like I said, but you can slide this way back. So I think if you're well over six feet, I think you're gonna fit comfortably in here. Headroom as well. I have about an inch, two inches above my head right now. And then I love, you do have the sunroof in this particular spec, which you don't really see too often. It just allows a little bit more light in here if you would like. So I think for creature comforts and actually just driving it like a normal car, it seems like a really doable vehicle for a daily driver. I'm perfectly comfortable. I have no complaints. Uh, everything with the technology, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, and everything like that is a nice feature. And then the touchscreen is extremely user-friendly. I love how you can even have all of your climate controls up on the screen or use the buttons down here. So I think while driving, it makes it extremely easy to where you don't really need to take your eyes off the road to configure the vehicle and change everything. And then the gauges, very big lettering. I can easily see everything I need. The heads-up display, of course, and then the safety features like the radar cruise control and other things like that. I think it's a very well put together car with a lot of features that really make it a nice car to drive. But I think that is about it. Then we're gonna head back to the dealership driving in the 2021 Chevrolet Camaro 2SS. Beautiful spec inside and out. I think this one is a really nice color combo. I love the red. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Check out Randy, Mary, and Chevrolet and huge shout out to them for providing this vehicle for today's video. They have a huge selection of the 2021 Camaros and they have a ZL1 inside, which is super, sweet. But I think that's about it, guys. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next video.